Blobulus Bugamulus. Welcome to Blobulus Bugamulus. So, we today we'll be doing an intro or introduction to uh, automation because I was thinking that I should do some tutorial content instead of just gameplay. So I'll show you how to make a good sandbox vehicle. So let's go for a standard sedan with a relatively conservative normal design that will just work. So I'll go through this in more detail. Now all of these question marks will tell you more information about what you've clicked. These are super useful in general. So always keep that in mind. Often it is best just to go for the top option. However, do I can't stress this enough. Do use the question mark. To push what engine may not be the best one possible for you. Look, yeah. So So this is just a general vehicle, so we don't need much. So we're going to go through this. I would do VVT to increase that efficiency a bit. The turbocharge to make sure. It's roughly powerful. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Sorry about that if that really scares you. I a bit of a cough right now. It's not going to affect my content. Let's do performance, yeah. Injection. Single. Select all the options as you think. I would go for the higher ones. Since where I am in the UK, the standard is 95 one. And sometimes in the better fuels will use be 97, 98. However, I know that in America it's around this, the lowest. So it depends where you are. But this is a European engine, so I'll be going for that. It'll be freeway, since emissions are really important nowadays. But, as always, I guarantee you, if you're making an engine for the first time, you will probably have knocking. You will probably have knocking. It's not your fault. It's just knocking will happen. But it's really easy to fix. You simply learn the compression. And you've got a wealthy good engine right now. You can go into this and spend a really long time editing it. However, this is quite a good engine. Let's cap off the uh, RPM though. This looks like quite a good engine. Let's put it into our sedan body. And ta-da! We've got a vehicle. Try your best to use this and not make it look too ugly. I'm sure some people have much better design skills. Make it as nice looking as you think you can. Uh, yeah. It's quite a robust vehicle. So, you know. But make it look as nice as you can. Colours. They can be a bit complicated. So I'm just going to add a black and work with a red trim. It's not everyone's cup of tea. Don't even mind. Just an example on how to change a colour. They get some nice headlights. Oh, to get something nice.
sometimes these will be a bit picky over when they want to. So, so those headlamps, nice and large and centered. That looks perfect. Hopefully, I'm not whipping off any design languages. No, I'm not so big on that. But with this, do experiment. Do work out what is the best thing for your vehicle. Right now, I don't want anything too terrible. It's, it'll be going down here. All it needs is functional airflow. And then with this, simply try not to get the ones like the big metal. Look to da. Does the front now? Let's put it to the door handles. Get whatever one you like. But that's amazing. You know. There'll be a door handle to open the boot. Let's put a fuel cap in. There, ta da. Could I refill it? But what about mirrors? Here's some. That's red. That's your reflective here on those. It's backwards. That's very weird. I think these will go on quickly. Sorry for wasting your time, but this is meant to be. <coughs> Sorry. A realistic beginner's guy. So, you know. Got to find the occasional mishap. I think that looks good, but do remember to put in things like exhaust tips. Don't need much of these sorts of vehicles, just that sort of thing will do. Let's put in an advanced automatic 5 speed. Get it to something that's nice and high. Not too high. Something like that. I know it's not the proper top speed. But it stops people from doing the really, really dangerous driving. Hard long life because it's just a boring car. Solid disc, triple pistol, solid disc, single pistol. I mean, get them to something that you think is respectable. Semi clad. Standard, in, standard instrument. Perfect for me. Electric. With electronic stability control. And some on the good side, safety. Progressive sway with gas mono tube, just passive sway bars. Let's do normal. I think that's good. Front brake force is low. Rear brake force is low. Ha! 
making the front wheels seem less thick changes the whole thing. Front brake was slow. Bad luck, ta da. I think this is all very good. Let's see it go. It's not the fastest together, but who asked it to? In the end, it's a standard, reliable vehicle. Just a normal, everyday, reliable vehicle that, if you've got the game, could export it to BMG Drive. And it looks very respectable. So, that is my automation tutorial. I would tell you five things from this. First of all, number one, use the information. It's there for a reason. It will help you so much. Second of all, don't fret about tuning the engine too much. Many cars in real life, their engines deliberately undertuned to change the costs. So you don't need to fret too much about that, unless you're really looking for it. Airflow doesn't matter, go for style. However, don't go overboard, since do remember it's all cosmetic. The moment. Go for what seems appropriate. And this vehicle, if we have a look, detailed stats, it's generally very good. Comfort, no big issues. You don't need to be tuning the suspension to anything. As long as it all looks good, this looks like a really generally good thing. Safe, utility, I know it's got some brakes, not the best brakes ever. Front wheel drive, but you know. The fuel efficiency is okay. It's generally an okay vehicle. And this is the sort of thing you should be making. You should be proud of yourself to make something like that. Use the presets, use everything to your advantage. And generally, that's how to succeed in automation by Brompulus. Rename my channel from Brompulus Programmers to Brompulus soon. Thanks for watching. End of video.